Intel just made huge promises. Panther Lake will combine the best of Arrow Lake and Lunar Lake. But can they actually deliver? Let's break it down. The pictures that you are seeing here are from the conference that they had for Vision Conference. And this is uh, them showcasing. And by the way, I will leave a link in the description below. This conference, this Vision Conference for Intel is over two hours long. So be prepared for that. Let's get her done. All right, so uh, let's go over the Intel Foundry process roadmap. So this is uh, what the Intel is going to be working on, has been working on for quite some time. The 18A, uh, A, 18A and 18AP node is what we're going to be looking at right now. So if you want to take a look at the roadmap right there, the 18A and 18AP, the 18A is from, you know, from 2024, early 2024, they've been working on the 18A node. Uh, or the 1.8 nanometer transistor and then they're going to be working on and leading and expanding it all the way till 2027 with the 18 ap node it's what we got to be looking at here uh amd and uh apple have a lot of efficiency they're just way better for efficiency at least uh, that's how it was amd is kind of going downhill with the efficiency there but uh nonetheless we are going to be looking at intel here and Intel has uh, some steps to take, and this is what they're going to be doing. The 18AP and 18A node, or the 1.0 nanometer transistor, will be a leading edge. And hopefully this will help uh, Intel succeed in the uh, CPU market uh, in the upcoming year. So Intel's bold claims. During the Intel Vision Conference, Jim Johnson, a senior VP at Intel, said this about Panther Lake. Quote, Panther Lake combines the power efficiency of Lunar Lake, the performance of Aero Lake, and is built to scale 18A, and is on track for production later this year. So basically, Intel is promising that Panther Lake will give you the best of both their production uh, previous architectures, but here's the question. Can they actually deliver? Let's talk about that. So, <clears throat> so, Intel has made big claims, and let's be honest, not all of them turned out great. We saw this with the 10 nanometer delays and how Intel struggled to match AMD's efficiency, but, we, but things might be different this time because of risk production. This means Intel is locking in the 18A process node and scaling it up for mass production, again for later this year. This is crucial because it means Intel in the, is past the experimental phase and working towards shipping these chips in volume. If the if this succeeds, Panther Lake could finally put Intel ahead of AMD's Ryzen 8000 series and even Apple's M3 chips. So, should you wait for Panther Lake or is this just another overhyped Intel launch? Here's my take. If you're looking to upgrade soon, it might be worth waiting just to see if Intel actually delivers but if you need a new pc right now i wouldn't hold my breath things right now are not great for the pc building industry right now for anyone wanting to build a new pc right now is not a good time just wait in my opinion but i want to hear from you are you excited about uh, panther lake do you think that intel will finally get it right this time Drop your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to hit that like button if you found this helpful. And hey, subscribe for more hardware deep dives. That's it. That's it for this video, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, it's just a little bit about the 18A and 18AP node and about the new uh, vision that they uh, the new vision that they had. And uh, yeah, Intel has some things going for them again. Uh, nvidia amd apple and broadcom want to make a deal with intel about their 18a and 18ap note or the 1.8 nanometer transistor if all these big companies are wanting to make a partnership with intel and it could happen this could very well happen that is a very good sign for intel and intel does need this so again leave me a comment in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts on this uh, we all want to know what everyone's thinking about on this actual 18A and 18AP node and whether or not it's actually going to structurally benefit us consumers because that's all that really matters at the end of the day is us consumers. Again, thank you to all my viewers, subscribers, and donators. And as always, don't forget to get her done.